I probably have about six of them, I think. Oh, are we bragging? That's what we're doing? Oh, oh we're, we're bragging, yes. We're bragging because uh, Pokeball. Yeah, and then you push it. It's kind of lame when you open it, but it's for display. And then you can, like, play, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll trade you. You will trade. For a whole Nintendo? There's no way. If you had pulled out, like, a TurboGrafx-16 with, like, Bonk's Adventure or something like that. Oh, we, Bonk's. We might have had a little bit of bargaining there going on. Or if you had a Atari with, it, with at least 10 or 20 games, which... But I know, actually, I got that too. I don't know. I don't know. It's Zena. It's Zena. So today, I'm going to be chatting with Arlen Escarpeta. We're going to be talking about the top three, I was going to say five, but top three death scenes from Final Destination. So you guys need to check this out. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you. Thank you, Zena. So uh, my audience, we're really into Final Destination, as I was telling nice. you. So majority of this conversation, it is going to be geared towards that. Definitely. And um, you were also in the reboot of Friday the 13th from 2009. Which is airing today at 6 o'clock at AMC, apparently. Whoa, look at you. Here's a, so every Halloween, um, I can almost guarantee that Friday the 13th or FD5 is going to be shown somewhere, somehow. Uh, and I'll start getting a bunch of messages, you know, uh, my, uh, my, my other castmates, every now and then we'll all get tagged on something. It, 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 it happens, so it, it's good. It's a nice reminder. What stood out for me, for you, and I have to know, because you were murdered by Jason, and that's, well, yeah. your character, you know, and that's like on everyone's bucket list. To <laughs> so it's like, I have to ask, what was like that whole experience like for you? Like, what was that day like? That was a long day. Uh, we were actually in the woods. Uh, we filmed in Austin, Texas. I'm not sure which part of Texas we were in at the time, but we were actually in the woods like from morning up until evening for at least a week we were there. Uh, they had to flush the uh, water moccasins out of the lake. Like it was, it was crazy, uh, but we had fun. We, had, we did have the table tennis. We had... Um, we had a jacuzzi. We had all these really cool stuff to hang out and do. Uh, but the actual fight scene, I call it the fight scene. I don't call it the death scene because I got some hits in before he got me. Um, but it was great, man. It was great. Um, it was eerie. It was nighttime. The way they had the lights uh, set up, you can see the, um, the, the fog and the mist kind of was like naturally floating, you know, past, past the water, past the lake. This is, you know, movie magic happens. But then when you're out in the woods, it does feel real. Um, and then when I, when I did actually get like killed, I was actually kind of sad. I was like, wait a minute. Nobody came out to get me? Yeah. Nobody else wanted to sacrifice themselves for me? Because, I mean, I sacrificed myself for Chewy, you know, for my, my buddy Aaron Yu. So uh, going, going out to get Aaron is what got me got. Um, but, you know, it all, it, all, it all worked out. And uh, the movie was well and good. So, yeah, I can't complain. <laughs> Yeah, I felt bad for your character. What was the goal? I, I, wanted, I wanted people to really be like, dang, no, go get Lawrence. You, you can't hear him bellowing and bawling, you know, the top of his lungs. <laughs> uh -huh. Help me! Please help me! No, but, you know, it was pretty cool, you know, with your character, you know, as, as the black guy, you didn't die first. So. No. No, and I'll say this, hats off to, uh, to New Line Cinema, uh, to Walter, Walter Hamada and David Neustadter, those those two guys, they they they've been like hand over fist, just amazing friends, uh, great uh, great bosses, great great coworkers, even um, you know going from from Friday the Thirteenth to FD Five. Um, I did die first. You know, that's one of the things that we always, we, we talk about like, no, man, we're going to do it different. We're going to, we have an angle where, you know, we're not going to play uh, in, into that stigma. We're going to play against it. You know, we're going to not make you just like rap music. We're going to make you like Green Day and, and this and that. And I was like, good. I'm, I'm, I'm multi-layered myself personally. So I was glad to be able to bring that to the screen and not have my character just be one thing but okay now we have to talk about final destination five because it's one yeah. of my favorite movies and i know that you watched the whole franchise yeah so, um, i'm interested in knowing what are like your top three death scenes it could be from anyone it could even be from yours but obviously 
it cannot be yours, like your actual death. Right, right, right. So, um, can we go? Because I know you have some too, right? Yes, and mine is better. That'll than be great. I'll, we'll go three, two, one. I'll go ladies first. You go. So I'll let you do your do your. Do you just want to copy, but okay. Oh, no. Or, or or how about we we'll, we'll just say our third one at the same time. Okay. So we'll go three, two, one, and we'll say our third one. All so right. like one, two, three, then and we'll say okay. So one, two, three, pool. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that that that's 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 a bad way to go. I mean you're talking about suction from a pool yeah. and pressure. And you're and you're underwater at the same time. That's 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 a double entendre of. Oh my gosh, that's that's nasty. That's a double whammy. That's what yeah. That but I was talking so loud. What, what was yours? Oh my gosh. So I said gymnast. <laughs> so I said. Oh wow. Okay. Part five. That like hurt my soul. At first I like laughed, but then quickly yeah. I stopped because like. It was just so sudden. Can that happen? I don't know. You know, and it was just, it was just shocking, and like she was just so broken, like a twig, yeah. you know, yeah. like, like a toothpick. Like okay, that's interesting. That made your number three. Yes. No, I'm curious to see what your two and one is. This is very interesting. Okay. Okay, so um, I just, I'll just give you my number two. My number two is an easy one for me because that's also a good buddy of mine who uh, we've known each other forever and a day. We both auditioned for Friday the 13th. We both auditioned for, I auditioned for his FD5. I didn't get it, he got it, uh, but I got him on Friday the 13th, so we kind of evened out. Um, so my buddy Texas, uh, uh, part three with the uh, the weights, the weight room scene. Well, I tell you, Kevin, huh? F that. I just win. That's all I know I do, Kevin. Baby, I just win. <laughs> And I, and I work out, so I was like, dang. And I've seen that weights fall, things shift. Now when I walk to a weight room, I literally I make sure like the pins are, are set properly. Is this sturdy? That was just, yeah, that was all bad. The head popping off, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was my number one. <laughs> that was really? my number one, yeah, because it was just like, it reminds me of like, you ever had like um, open like a can of like, what is it, like meatloaf or, yeah, it's like meatloaf in it. There's meatloaf that comes in between, I think. <laughs> yeah, boy. It kind of comes yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. That's, it reminded me just of it. Because it was just all that trash talk. He was. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he, he really kind of built himself up to deserve that throughout the throughout the movie. Absolutely, he did. Okay, well, yeah, you you have my, my one. But, okay, number two, um, it was from Final Destination 2. And it was with yeah. the woman who was sitting in the car. And, like, sadly, the pole went through her head. Yeah, like the firemen, they were trying to save her. It was so, I felt so bad for her because it's yeah. like, you know, she had, she was in a car accident and then everybody was like, oh yeah, she's fine. This she is She might great. be okay. Yeah. Then that horrible move and it just, it was just shocking for me, but. I think that's one of my favorite things about uh, MP5, excuse me, uh, Final Destination films in general. It's that misdirection. That misdirection is so key. It's so important. Right. It brings you up. You're like, oh my God, okay, oh, that was really bad. And then, then they get you with another one, you know? <laughs> um, and because I say misdirection, that leads me to my number one. So my number one is actually the gymnast. Oh, okay, all right, cool. I thought Ellen's, uh, and I, I'm sorry, I used people's real names. Um, Ellen, uh, Ellen Rose, the actress, and her character's name was? Candace. Candace, yes, 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 with the rubber band. Um, so Candace, her death was, to me, it, it was by far the worst. The setup, the pin, the water dropping, the water dripping near the wire, the, the chalk, everything was there. And then the initial, uh, gymnast on the, on the, uh, on the beam, you know, and almost, almost stepping on it, almost, no, I'm not going to step on it yet. It's that misdirection. It was, just, it was set up so clean and what really made it my favorite and I say it to my friends all the time she literally folded over and if you can imagine a laptop and you have a bunch of papers and stuff and you just close up and everything kind of shot out yeah. you know and then you, you say well how, how did that happen she's super flexible so yeah she can naturally bend that way and just went you know too far I, I just thought it was gruesome 
and then the uh, the setup, the long, long, long setup, it, it was worth it for me. So that's my number one. I agree with you. Like that one, like the the setup. I thought that she was actually going to like step on that little tack, yeah, or yeah. Her break her neck or something. Yeah, yeah. No, they you guys really <laughs> took it there. Like that was extreme, very unexpected. Yes. But okay, I guess we have a tie. I guess you know? <laughs> we picked some of the same ones. That's fair. Yeah. So so that's. But yeah, but thank you again, you know, for coming on and, you know, chatting with me again. You guys can find him on Twitter and Instagram, Arlen Escarpeta, and then on Facebook, Arlen Escarpeta. So I'll leave everything below. Thank you, Zena. Thank you, thank you, thank you.